Welcome back students this is your Chendu Gaud in today's video lecture I am going to cover certain important concepts related to the course turbo machinery under JNTUH R18 regulation for mechanical engineering students. Before going to take this course a student should have basic knowledge in the course thermal engineering as well as heat transfer failing which you cannot learn the concepts of turbo machinery dear students. The course turbo machinery is all about the problematic derivations as well as theory and we can expect 80 percent of problems and 20 percent of theory as well as derivations in the course turbo machinery. I have taken into consideration few important questions where kindly go through these concepts which I am going to let you know in this video and do not skip my video whereas I am going to cover few important tips in between to score better mark and clear this subject in the first attempt. The unit 1 is all about the turbo machines and its classifications and applications as well as the examples of flow swim turbo machines. From these concepts we can expect one question related to 1A later the static and stagnation conditions and the equations and the power development and consum consuming of the turbo machines as well as TS diagram is one of the very very important and gunshot question dear students. Later it is all about the nozzles and its derivations as well as types of nozzles and critical pressure ratio to the index of expansion N for expansion in nozzles, its designs, its types and problems related to the nozzle is also one of the gunshot question and where we can expect this in 1A as well as 1B dear students till here the concepts which I have covered. Later calculate the mass flow rate I mean Q as well as the velocity of the stream as well as throat area and area of nozzle based on these concepts you will be getting one problem for sure dear students. Later it is all about the turbines types and depend on the compressors the blade speed as well as the efficiency the problems related to even the turbines and it is all about the Euler's Bernoulli's as well as the continuity equation and the applications and the problems related to it. These may be the second question from here to here that is 2A as well as B dear students and there may be few 5 mark questions as well as followed by 10 marks problem in the course turbo machinery and they may be asking sometimes the difference between reheat factor as well as preheat factor for a 5 mark and the problem based on this. Do cover the concepts of the turbo machinery classifications as well as the uh, nozzles as well as the turbines a uh, problems related to it and the course is too lengthy in its structure please do work out accordingly and directly do not jump to the problem before going to work out the problem you should have a minimum concepts and the basic concepts about the topic which you are going to work out and you should have a knowledge in heat transfer as well as thermal engineering to clear this subject later the unit 2 is all about the the flow uh, um, flow machines I mean the axial and radial flow machines in that the concept first I have highlighted this because it is asked a definition for 5 mark many times the term slip factor and stored all and stances and Belgis factor uh, I mean the slip factor based on these concepts a problem may be also asked later the Euler's equation of energy transfer as well as the differences between axial flow machines as well as radial flow machine is one of the gunshot question from the unit 2 later the mixed flow machines then explain these things uh, related to mixed flow machines as well as inward valsers outward radial flow machines from these concepts we can expect the third question that is a comma b dear students later it is all about the pumps the cavitation of pumps and its phenomena and explain the precautions is also one of the gunshot question which is asked for a 7 mark and related to the centrifugal pumps as well as the reciprocating pumps the problems where they are going to ask you to calculate the head loss suction pressure as well as the suction head or the speed or the height of the pump or NPSH this is the second question related to this uh, I mean related to the pumps centrifugal pump they will be asked asking the problem and a small definitions related to cavitation do carry your calculator to work out the problems very fast and if you are working out the first and the second unit for sure damn you are going to get four questions from the talk which I have gone through till now later let us look into the third unit it is also too lengthy in its structure and we are going to get two questions from even the third unit dear students the third unit is all about the gas dynamics and the supersonic flow as well the Mach number is a very very important and related to the supersonic flow and the shock waves as well as the maximum de uh, deflection angle oblique shocks expression is asked several number of times and this may be expected to be a gunshot question for this time 
later the differences between the normal shock versus detached shock and the relation for a perfect gas for a normal gas is also one of the very very important question dear students so based on these concepts you will be getting 5a as well as 5b and do not forget to work out the problems related to the concepts which i am speaking here later about the centrifugal compressor the power input factor as well as the sip factor as well as its types of the centrifugal compressors and the performances and the working principle as well as related to the slip factor they'll be asking a 10 mark problem based on these two formulas make sure they'll be asking using a slip factor use two formulas and calculate the problem to work out the velocity triangles as well as the efficiency of the air the compressor or the total head pressure ratio or the power required to drive the compressor is also one of the much awaiting and important and gunshot question and from this concepts we can expect the question 6a as well as 6b students and the purpose of guide vanes and inducer blades is also five mark question make sure to work out and concentrate on each and every part which i am speaking here later let's look into the unit 4 the unit 4 is all about the axial flow compressors and we are going to work out the velocity triangles as well as flow analysis as well as the efficiency and its design and the various types as well as many times the multi-stage axial compressor problems were asked in the previous year question paper and this can be one of the 10 mark question dear student if you look at dear students for each and every concepts there are velocity triangles you need to calculate the head you need to calculate i mean the pressure you need to calculate the efficiency as well as the power required whereas from pumps to gas dynamics as well as the uh, turbo machines and as well as the actual for compressors you are supposed to remember each and every formula and each and every design aspect dear students and surging in and flow compressor is also one of the gunshot question it is asked several number of times for a seven mark later determine degree of reaction the mass flow rate efficiency and power required which i was continuously urging on this point based on these concepts you are going to get a problem and from the fourth unit you are going to get only one question that is the question number seven later also to find and determine by giving the velocities and by giving the pressure to you in the question paper related to the air compressors axial flow compressors they'll be asking you to find the blade speed fluid angles at the inlet and outlet as well as the blade force losses and the vertex blades problem related to it and definition may be one of the important question dear students the concepts related to this all are related to the problems make sure to work out the problems failing which you cannot pass this course and make sure you should have strong foundation knowledge in each and every concept which i am going to let you know i have let you know in this uh, course turbo missionary i hope you are liking my videos and subscribe to my channel as well as share this course question paper as well as the uh, concepts which i have done in this video to your friends who are going to take this video hoping to see you all to perform a better performance in your examination and clear this course thank you good luck and god bless you all